What's up? This is your boy Super, and I'm playing Dark Souls. That's what we need is some embers so we can forge some ultimate weapons. So we've got a fog door to go through at the bottom of this part of the castle. We got 2,000 souls, and we've killed the merchant, and it looks like he's still dead. Oh well, 2,000 souls isn't that much. We can easily get it back <clears throat> in the forest. So let's head on through the fog door in the bottom area. We've unlocked a shortcut by defeating the Phantom of the Night. We found another shortcut. Can we just walk off the cliff here? Oh, you wouldn't die. You'd slowly, gradually fall forward until you were safely an area you needed to be. Where the hell is this? Okay, so that's the original way we, we came from. And then we went back up the shortcut. And we go down and defeat the dogs and the, the ghouls. And uh, we've already defeated them. So we just hit through the fog door at the end of the hallway. End of the alleyway. Weird place for a fog door. And be since there was there was a boss, there was the demon on top of the bridge. There was the Taurus demon. I think the Taurus demon was in the tutorial. It is a boss. He doesn't look very tough. I'll tell you that. And he's dead already. Ten seconds, and we got a key to the depth. How many souls? Humanity and a homeward bone. Key to the depths. Six thousand souls. And a key to the humanity and a homeward bone. Okay, sounds good. It's a casket or something? I don't know. Is this gate functioning? No. I don't, it was impossible to get here before, I don't, I guess they expect us to be tougher. We got, we, we still can't level up, we need about 700 more souls. It's a dead end, Where are the, where's the key to the depths though? Where do we use the key to the depths at? And that's the end of the bottom area too. We're completely done with the berg now. Besides for the phantom, that's insanely tough. And I have a feeling that's how we get to the second bell. We're gonna level up and I guess we'll make our way back to the forest by exploring every door looking for the depths. I'm sure we found a door like that before. It's probably not in the undead berg. If we don't find it in the undead... God, I keep forgetting what the name of that place is. The undead parlor. If we don't find it in there, we'll come back here. Undead Parish, that's what it is, okay. I think I can remember it now. Well, that's inconvenient. Yeah, the NPC was the leader of a covenant. I accidentally killed him, I thought he was an enemy. We killed a dragon, so that's cool. We can walk along the bridge now and look for a locked door.
still don't have enough to level up, I don't think. I think. Undead Parish, yes. So the end, undead bird reaches all the way to the br to the bridge and, and encompasses the bridge area. Let's see, I don't want to rest knowing we can't level up. Like at least 1,100 souls. Only got a two Estus flasks. Titanite shard, very nice. Thank you. The rats are, don't have any XP. I was kind of... There's no doors down there. I was going to go look for doors, but I don't think there's any down there. So we've killed the demon on the top of the tower. There's no doors there. Not in this area. I don't see any. Kill them up top. Maybe we use it in a future area, but it's hard to imagine using a key in the forest, besides for the one we already know of. Not getting many freaking souls around here. Now the basement. right now. He looked like he was on a roller coaster. Now yeah, they put their arms up. Dodge is never going to do us any good. That one will. The jump roll will, looks good. could have easily killed us with one hit back when we started playing. Right. We would have been dead right there with a knife in our back, a fencing knife at that. There's no more freaking doors. I don't know where we would use the key to the depths.
Last as the last. And now we're acquiring souls. Check upstairs for a door. Those elevators lead back to the the bonfire bonfire link fire link plaza, whatever it's called. Got my memory so bad. No doors over there, just the cell where we rescued the guy. Nothing over here. Okay, I know there's nothing up there. Firelink Shrine, that's what it's called. Hmm. Key to the depths. Maybe it has a. Uh, Clue in its description. Opens the door le from low, leading from Lower Berg to the depths. Okay, at the bottom of the there's a tower in Undead Berg. If you go to the bottom of the tower, there's the Phantom, like we've been talking about the past couple episodes. Behind the Phantom is a doorway to where a place where you could use that key. At. That's what I was thinking. We're definitely not going to mess with it anymore right now. We're going to level up and we're going to jump off the cliff in the forest. We've got our gear all maxed out as far as we can. After we level up, maybe I'll, or maybe I'll do it before I, I'll level up here and then maybe I'll try to max out one of our weapons. I know the the short, the broken sword and the long, long sword hilt have uses later. We've got some extra uh, XP. Well, let's get some extra souls. Let's go with strength and bring it up to us to 386. Can't reinforce the short sword plus three. We've run out of resources. We're missing one tight night shard. We'll get it from this guy down here. I'm so glad they had a fast travel to these games. What is it now? It's 101, 101 plus 51. 152, that's not very good, and it has no other stats that are above benefit or are significant consequence. Don't think I'll buy more right now. When I come back to the weapon system later off camera, I will probably do something with it. Now is the time for exploration. New Horizons. Got a lot of enemies to kill and a lot of souls to gather. Dark root garden. Oh well, he almost snuck up on me.
that glowing, blooming purple moss. It's a very lovely gift. Thank you. I guess we don't have to kill all the enemies in this area. Just these ones. Usually I don't not able to dodge them that easily. If we stick to the side wall, I don't think we'll disturb any of the people here. And we can go on to the cliff area. There is a few enemies in this area though. These things are cool looking. They give us a useful item. It's awesome. Can you imagine the smell in a place like this, all the moldy rotting wood? See, I don't even know if this leads us back to an earlier part of the level or not, I couldn't tell. So we're just gonna hope for the best, I guess. Hey, good morning. It's down there. I saw a phantom, I mean like a shadowed creature run out. Oh, there's a cliff there. There certainly is a cliff there. I wonder where that is. I don't think we could jump the far part. I'm not sure we could jump that, but we could sure try, I guess. Why not? We made it. Now what kind of area is it? The, the phantom ghost character ran that way. And that's where he died at, so I guess we'll head in this opposite direction. It looks like it's back to the beginning area, doesn't it? That's where it is, it's back to the beginning area. Kind of a useless shortcut. And up here is the bonfire and the sealed door. So we gotta head through the fog door and see if that's a boss fight. That's all that's left. Besides the phantom and the, the door behind him and Undead Berg. I guess we could buy something with the souls. I don't know. Not, no, let's just head for the boss room. Or the fog door. Awesome, everybody's dead there. We're gonna get a bunch of souls right here. We can follow along the left path and not have to kill all the enemies. Kill this guy. Now we've got two more of the night. One right here. If, if you get close to them, the more likely they are to reach for the sky and with the and open up their body to attacks. Whatever this guy is gonna do when he turns yellow, we didn't give him enough time. Stuttering, stuttering, and fumbling my words another fog door so that's a very short walkway there huh. it's got to be a boss fight if there's two fog doors but it is for certain oh, it's a fairy I don't trust you lady oh crap this is going to be a difficult one the moonlit butterfly to be exact. Oh, he got me. Looks like we have to use some type of freaking ranged weapon. Damn it. And we can't block those. We can't even equip a damn ranged weapon.
Well, now when we, if we, if we don't freaking die, I don't know how we're ever going to equip the right proper weapon. It's a little confusing. Oh, we're hitting it. I didn't know we were hitting it. And we're dead. Kill the first try. Hell yeah. Soul of the Moonlit Butterfly. Looks like we'll be able to make a boss weapon. And we got one humanity. Nothing else. We didn't get any. We got 10,000 souls too. That's cool. We got 10,000 souls and the Her Soul. That's awesome. Another boss down. Thanks to our trusty Black Knight sword. I'm learning the area well. Yeah, I don't mind it being that confusing, but it, it all just appears with fast travel. I'm glad they were able to add fast travel in without ruining the game. Okay, what do we got, a merchant? Corpse, okay, watchtower basement key. Divine ember, yeah, boss weapon. Here comes a boss weapon for sure. So you sure this is a corpse, huh? Not a blacksmith? Looks like it's gonna come alive any second. Where in the hell is the watchtower basement at? I don't I think the watchtowers are what we're in now. I think this is a watchtower. The the undead bird tower with the phantom in it had the door was already open so we don't need a key. The place the other trails, now that we need to go to the other trails with the goblins. That was cool. We were, we were supposed to come this way first. I like that. That was interesting. We were definitely prepared. I didn't get a chance to... Oh, I did read her name, though. I forgot it already, damn it. What is this nonsense? Okay, onward. If we go clear out the, the rest of the enemies in this area, we'll have so many souls. We might have enough to go get that thing so we can unseal the door. Oh, really, he died holding the tree like that? That's cool. I forgot where we were at for a second. I see my target. Blood red moss clump. You can die. You go to hell and you die. There we go. He opened himself right up for us. Purple Moss Clump. Drink it, drink it, drink it. Almost die. That's all the enemies in this area now. Except the two snakes. Still stuck on the tree. Now back to the hard area where we were killing gargoyles and ice trolls.
and the cave bonfire. If we get 20,000 souls, we can unseal that door. We're going to wait till we can level up that high, I guess. We can get endurance. Okay. Still have 4,000 souls left. <clears throat> There's my buddy. There's my other buddy. Here's his friend. Till the end. as well use one of these humanities faster since we've got so many increase our drop rates and receive a stat boost Well, I've done I've done very very little grinding and leveling up beyond following the linear path. Maybe about six or seven, and I'm probably like around ten somewhere, ten levels. But uh, time-wise, it was only a few hours. So should we go to the caves with the gargoyles or press on in this direction with the ice trolls? I think we should go with the ice trolls. It's a long run to the, to the last bonfire. These guys were easy before we got all these upgrades. But if we go up to that tower up there, that's where I think the key to the depths is used at. But there's a phantom in there. La Phantom. No secrets here. What you got? Two hits. 200 souls. Not as good as the 600 we were getting. Still, still efficient, I guess. Still worth being here. Look at that big ass five headed dragon in the water over there. Oh crap, he's even shooting at me. Ain't that something? Damn it, we messed that up. He didn't do very much damage though. no idea how to take down the dragon if you can shoot at us from this far away we're gonna have to go up to there that area with the phantom or we can shoot, shoot the dragon with arrows or the phantom falls. oh crap that just drained our stamina so bad One shot, hell oh, yeah. So the dragon is a stamina drainer, I see. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to beat this phantom. Oh, the dragon's water hurts his, his friends here too. This guy's almost dead. Now he, now he's dead. Hide behind the trees and lock on to the dragon. Items down. Oh crap. That, that hurts me plenty.
I don't know how we're gonna accomplish this feat. Maybe we should cover it with socks? I don't know. I was gonna lock on to him and shoot him with arrows. It's not letting me lock on for some reason. He can't see me. I don't think we're here to hit him from this far back. We can even get past the tree. Yeah. We're not gonna be able to hit him by locking on. I can't see where I'm shooting now either. Guess we can try the Phantom since we got the key to the door behind him. Maybe we get like a special shield that blocks the water or something and we can get closer. Or special arrows. This guy is going to be tough, I just know it. He's not optional, you have to fight him, so he might be easy. Usually the real tough ones are optional. Now, I don't know why I would say that. I still have souls in here, how the hell did that happen? And he's freaking hiding behind the wall. He's got a big ass weapon. I freaking missed him, damn it. I hope I'm being more scared than he is tough. He's not taking away very much stamina. Oh, wow. So this is the bottom we were trying to get to, and that's the shortcut up. I lost a lot of souls to that man. Back to the dark garden. So we've either got to go to the caves, or go to fight the water dragon. So I'm guessing... I'm not guessing. The, uh, I, don't know, I just think that's what we can. The only place we could probably defeat him is the gargoyles. That was, I think. Yeah, that probably was the guy at the other tower, the bottom of the tower in the undead burg, rather. And we're down in the swamps below the bridge. It all, it all, it all makes sense when you think about it. me oh there you go I don't know how in the hell we're even gonna get close to that damn water dragon dark root but the sin Things are looking a little hopeless. Of all that guy at the bottom of that tower, that door we were just at, is guarding is a shortcut. Why does he got to be so difficult? I don't know, it's weird. But the, the gargoyles should be pretty, a lot easier now. Maybe this is the way we need to go. That light scared me so bad when the rest of the world is green. We walk in here, all of a sudden there's an orange glow on us. It scared me. Guess we can use a humanity.
soul of the moonlit butterfly. I'll probably keep that. Oh, we, we should have stopped at the blacksmith. That's what I was forgetting. I knew I was forgetting something. I wanted to stop and see what the blacksmith could do with that. A long way from him now. We'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the foe for now. What do you know? Okay, that didn't do much damage to him. Did you get your wing clipped or something? What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. Okay, I think we're kind of at a weird position if we can't kill him with a reasonable amount of hits then I have no idea where we would be supposed to go he's not that bad and for a thousand souls this is a nice area to farm is the dragon he definitely still alive over there well, well we're not going to farm this right now how are we going to lure these guys out is my question. Did you see me? Oh crap, he almost freaking killed us. He did freaking kill us, damn. How the hell did he do that? I was blocking with my damn shield. Freaking targeting system, man, failed me somehow. Probably my fault. Oh crap. We're dead again. Yeah, there was no way we were living through that fall. No way. In hell. We gotta go make a boss weapon. That's what the game's trying to tell us. All the way to the blacksmith. Come on. I like the things like this. Shadow of the Colossus, things with scale and old style castles and nature. Love it. King Arthur in his court. This difficult the first time. Bastard. Okay. Making me waste my Estus flash. Don't be a grouch. Give me your tail. I tried to lock on, and then all of a sudden he starts shooting me in the back, and I'm like, I thought I was locked on. What the hell? Yeah, come out farther into my domain. It's in my territory. Let me get that tail. The character wasn't so damn slow, he'd be freaking dead already. Come on out here. He 
He took a bite out of crime. This is going to be difficult, but we can regain humanity and souls by defeating those first two. Or just the first one, for that matter. Oh crap. We don't have enough arrows for this nonsense. I really don't want to fight on the frickin' bridge. Oh, that's not that bad. We can sit here and shoot him when he doesn't get alerted. How about this one? So it looks like we got 47 damage on him. This looks like some end game, end game type place. There's no way I can take all three of them on at once. So you can't do that again. Oh, we're freaking dead. And we're gonna we gotta slowly trudge up to the dragon. Or somehow lure these guys out. With no merchant to buy arrows from. If I want to, if, if we got to farm souls, I'd rather go back to the other area. The door behind the gargoyles looks freaking locked anyway. So the undead burg is completely done because the enemy, only enemy left there is accessible to this area. We're at like a dead end. Oh, he's still on the bridge, so that's not, that's kind of neat. Too bad his health isn't gone. Absolute luck. What about this bastard? He found, yeah, he's falling too. Okay. 4,000 souls. Let's go over, get this guy over here. We can trick them into falling every time. This might be an alright place to be. We can do decent damage on them. Freaking dead again, damn it. Need a damn AR-15. M-16.
We gotta gather our souls and kill our foes. What do you know? He's crying. Somebody's crying. Bastard's got me back into a corner now. Wasting my Estus. You can only do one freaking hit at a time. Okay. Perfect. See about this fool. Oh crap, now we lost four freaking thousand souls to this goddamn targeting in the bridge. Oh my god, this is stupid. Where, where is the... We don't have any other path to go down either besides the dragon in the water. And this looks like, maybe this is the path you take after the dragon in the water because there's a big door behind the gargoyles. Maybe to open it, you gotta defeat these monsters out here. We can go, since we lost all our souls and humanity, we can at least run and get a closer look at the dragon in the water. And kill us some ice trolls. Ice trolls and a water dragon. It's gotten exponentially more difficult since the undead burg and the undead parish areas. Oh, you fell down. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Got another one who wants to play. I really don't want to farm these guys. These guys suck. But how weak they are makes me think this is the right path to go down. Goddamn dragon. some souls and buy like thousands of arrows. And we may have a chance. I think we can make it into the water area and get that item. As long as we're running side to side. Died. We got a full set of armor, it looked like. I think, I think we can try something with him. We got regular knight armor. Wow, we, we were supposed to be here a long time ago, I guess, then, huh? 
That's some pretty lame armor. So in platform right in front of him, if you get close, he will stop shooting projectiles at you and will attack you with his head. You do a roll and you slash him with your sword. And the knight armor may, go, may protect you less, but it's significantly lighter, allowing you to dodge better. Sounds like a good plan. Well, I don't know how good of a plan. What's the weight? It's insignificantly lighter. 0.3 lighter. You gotta kill all these trolls again. I guess we can kill one or two. Whichever one start chasing us. I can see our souls from here. Oh. Nice punch, man. What did he give us? Blue tight night chunk. That's nice. Magic weapons, though. Bet you we can't get around this bastard here. fall off the platform we got something something with the ember in the title soul of the moonlit butterfly where did it go I don't know we got the soul of the butterfly maybe we can forge a boss weapon Judging from the difficulty, it would seem we were supposed to be back in the forest leveling up, but we, but the boss in the forest was so easy. How did it get so difficult? What the hell happened? I don't know if I'll make an episode of it, but I'll probably be back in the, the forest leveling up. large spike in difficulty. Maybe we're supposed to go get this, the key for the sealed door before we go down there. And maybe there's like some miracle weapon or armor or source of souls that fills in the gap in difficulty. Because we do get, we get more souls in the easier area of the game. We could easily get 20,000 in three, three runs, maybe 15, 20 minutes. So I guess that, that's what I'm going to try. And I'll, I'll make an episode of that. That seems like what it wants us to do. We just had 15,000. And the blacksmith sells something that opens the mysteriously sealed doors in the forest. Boss souls, that's what I'm... Oh no, okay. It says he can mod it, turn it into a boss weapon. He said something about... I, hope I don't get the option anymore. That's a rare ember you have there, the boss soul. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. 
May you consider leaving that with me? I will produce divine weapons with the flame such as that. A green flame? Okay. You made a fine decision. You shall soon see, see. Now let's see. We can put... Well, we got to get green titanite and we can turn our bow into a divine weapon. A divine longbow. <clears throat> with magic damage and physical damage. And it's a big de great decrease from what it is right now, but it adds magic damage. Okay. So you're a magic blacksmith. You're a fairy. Well, thanks. Thanks for watching. This has been your boy, Super Playing Dark Souls. Hope you enjoyed it. And it would help me out a lot if you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. How the hell did he get freaking behind me? That was so cheap.